Hello all. Welcome back to Snow Pro Group. My name is Vijay. In this session, we will see how to connect Snowflake with the Visual Studio tool. For that, let's open the Visual Studio tool first. So in uh, Go to the extensions. We need to download a couple of extensions in order to connect uh, Snowflake from here. In the extensions, you can see uh, there are uh, many extensions available for, but particularly for this uh, purpose, we need to download a couple of extensions. One is the SQL tool, uh, SQL tools extension, and then Snowflake driver. So. So this is the tool that I already uh, downloaded and installed. And um, the Snowflake driver for SQL tools is the other one. So once you install these two, um, uh, two extensions and then go to here. Okay, so this is uh, nothing but the activity bar. So when, if you are not seeing that you can uh, you can click on the top right corner here and then select the activity bar. So it, this activity bar will come. And under that, you can see that SQL tools. So in SQL tools, there will be multiple tabs like this. Go to the connections and click on the, on the new connection, uh, assistant and click on the snowflake icon here and then it will uh, ask you to provide the details uh, to connect to the snowflake here so here you can give the connection name any name you can give here um, uh, whatever the name that you uh, need to give then uh, give to this connection right and then um, suppose i'm giving Okay, so this is optional and the account um, is the one that you need to give the when you have the account information, right? So the account name and the region ID and the cloud uh, location, those information needs to be given uh, in this format. Okay. And here the authenticator can be uh, using either username, password or keep a RSS or authorization. Uh, so I'm going with the username password. Okay, so here you can give the database name. And you can give the schema name and the role uh, through which we need to connect. And uh, there are other uh, predefined uh, information. So you can leave them like that. Okay. So connection name is mandatory field authenticator and uh, giving the credential to it. And then the warehouse schema and role information and account information as well right so and then test connection check connection uh, and then you can see schema and the tables right so views and now you can right click on it and so the table records let me take this okay 
so now or uh, you can do like um, describe the table right you can see the table name schema column information so all the information you can see comments right column name sequence this information database information and everything right or you can write the query and select the data from here as also and then run on active connection you can see the data here so that's how we can connect